welcome back AutoCAD students and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to copy a chair up to a table and then we're going to do a polar array. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so what I have here on the screen is I have the result I want here on the right hand side. All right, and this is the actual drawing here that we're going to work with. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually copy one of the office chairs up to the table to get it ready to array. Okay, so I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go to copy. I'm going to pick on this chair. I'm going to right click and I'm going to pick the midpoint here as the base point. Okay. All right, I'm going to come up here. I happen to have quadrant on as one of my O snaps. And then I'm actually going to come down here and make sure that tracking is on. And there, I'm going to make sure their tracking is on. All right. So as I hover my mouse here on this quadrant, I'm going to push it up until I see tracking. There it is. And I'm going to type in a two and another enter and then that just what that did is it made sure that the chair is two inches away from the table okay because I don't want the chair right up against the table I want it a little bit away okay so now let's go to polar array so up here on the ribbon you have the array command and if you pick on the arrow you have three choices and one of them is polar array so let's pick that all right, and the first thing that Polar Array asks me is to select objects. So I want to select what I'm going to array, and that's this chair. So I'm going to pick on the chair, and when I'm done selecting, I'm going to do an enter or a right click. The next thing that Array asks me is for the center point of the array. Okay, now the center point of the array is going to be the center of the table. That is like the pivot point of the array. So think of it as the point that your chair or your selected objects will copy around. All right, so let me pick the center of the table. Okay, now notice here, the last time I did this array, um, I had already put in the number six, and you can see the ribbon up here changed with the array. But what I can do is I can actually change up here under items. If I didn't want six, I could change it, let's say, to eight and do an enter, and it will show me eight chairs around this table. All right. But I am going to go back to six up here on the ribbon because I do only want six items arrayed. Okay. When I'm happy with the array, I'm going to do an enter to exit. All right. So there you have your six chairs arrayed around the table. Now, if you'll notice, if you grip them, they're kind of grouped together. Um, if you want to get them separate again, you can actually do the explode command, which is up here underneath the eraser. You can pick explode, pick on the array, do an enter, and now each chair is an individual item. Okay, I hope that helps with array. I hope you can give that a try and stay tuned for the next tutorial.